Now let us understand the concept of laser hemotherapy. See, many of us remember that in the school days we have been taught that if you go in the early morning sunlight, then you will get vitamin D. Does that mean that the sun itself feeds you vitamin D? No. The light or the rays of the sun in the early morning, which are uh, red colored rays, these rays, they fall on our uh, skin where, where our skin absorbs these photons which are present in the light itself. These photons are absorbed by our skin and the tissue, the cells of the skin and dermis, epidermis, they utilize these energy of the photons to convert cholesterol into cholecalciferol that is the scientific name of vitamin D and that's how it is said that if you go in the morning early morning sunlight you will get vitamin D between the lines it means the body or the skin exposed to any rays consisting of photons it absorbs these photons utilizes the energy of these photons to convert the cholesterol into vitamin D. Now exactly the same phenomenon is used in laser hemotherapy where we utilize the 650 nm or visible red range of the light that is laser light which consists of photons that are showered on your flowing blood that is present in the radial artery, ulnar artery and in the nasal muc uh, submucous tissues. These ca rich capillary circulation, this is utilized to irradiate your blood with the photons of the red lasers. Now as I told you, the lasers consist of photons. Because they travel in a single line, they, can, they are having good amount of energy, they can travel a long distance. You must, be, you must have seen the pointers that are used while doing presentation. Uh, they are uh, uh, fired almost from 10 to 15 feet long distance and that same size spot is created on the board. Now, these energies, these energy full uh, laser beams, if we make them convergent, we make them come together, then we can utilize it to cut, kill, burn. You must have seen that laser cutting diamonds, laser cutting engraving, laser cutting metals, all these utilize it. This energy is constant, uh, convergent and then it is utilized for destruction. When it is made divergent, it acts like photon, shower of photons. It doesn't harm. In fact, these photons from the shower of these laser uh, devices, they are utilized by all our body tissues in the same manner. The mitochondria in present in every cell absorbs these photons, utilizes these photons for the energy production or ATP cycle. It triggers the ATP cycle. That's how mitochondria generates energy. The cell is energized and it does its physiological function to the fullest capacity. Now, same principle in the flowing blood, we are having red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, plasma, endothelium, totipotent cells and many more. We utilize the, the, cell, the cells absorb these photons and use it for their energy production. Suppose the work of red blood cells is to uh, distribute oxygen and glucose to all of our tissues from head to toe. It has been found that half an hour session of laser hemotherapy, the uh, supply of oxygen and glucose to the brain and heart tissues increases by 24 to 36 percent. The WBCs are the natural garbage cleaners from in our in our blood. Whenever we have bacteria, viruses, fungi infected, uh, infecting in our body. These are the cells that take care of this garbage. When WBCs are energized, 
they do their physiological function to the fullest capacity they clean the garbage from the blood and this garbage consists of bacteria virus free radicals then your cholesterol crystals cholesterol uh, uh, clots soft clots thrombi emboli and lot many other things this is totally a physiological process and it is called as photobiomodulation it is not the heat of the lasers that is doing this function but it is the cell of your own body doing their normal function to the fullest capacity and that's how it helps to clean the garbage from the blood now second aspect of laser hemotherapy the endothelial cells they also endothelial cells the lining of the blood vessels is called as endothelium they also absorb these photons they also utilized uh, for energy when they get fully energized they produce nitric oxide Now, let me tell you these these are the only tissues that can produce nitric oxide in your body nitric oxide is a prime molecule or prime substance that triggers your reparative regenerative anti inflammatory and all other protective mechanisms in your body and this has been uh, uh, this invention of role of nitric oxide has been awarded a nobel prize let me tell you whenever uh, let me explain you whenever you get a trauma a cut in your body when the wall of the blood vessel is cut it is triggered to produce nitric oxide the level of nitric oxide in the blood increases all the reparative mechanism starts uh, functioning within a span of milliseconds and that's how we start getting provisions of healing of the wound the blood stops uh, flowing it becomes thick clot is formed then the uh, scab is formed scab dries out and after 4 to 5 days the scab loosens it is it falls off and below that you get a sealed skin again the skin is formed in that seal have you seen any time that nail is cut and the bleeding is there no because it is a dead tissue only when the live tissues are cut or traumatized then only you get this response it is called as redox signaling mechanism nitric oxide when these endothelial cells they absorb the uh, photons they produce an immense amount of nitric oxide and that's how your body's protective mechanism is triggered and it starts repairing repairing your old trauma to your heart your lungs your brain your kidneys and all other organs you from a, for a visible change you can see after use of 2 to 3 months the wrinkles on the face they disappear the skin starts glowing because new skin starts forming there is small wounds ulcers they get healed up that you can also see within three uh, span of 2 to 3 months and that's how here without injuring the body without invading the body from outside we can achieve we can stimulate our body to do the function physiological function as it was doing before you developed the diseases that's how laser hemotherapy works